a look into the secret life of the 18-year-old. Two typical kids starting college for the very first time. Except these kids made national headlines and one of them ended up dead just 25 days into his freshman year. The question, what really happened when their dorm room closed and two complete strangers and complete opposites had to find a way to coexist? What happened when one of them got sexiled, kicked out of his room when his roommate wanted to have sex? Think you know the story of the explosive court case that just ended? You have not heard the half of it until now. It's impossible to know what flashed through the mind of Tyler Clementi as he walked the pathway of the George Washington Bridge in New York City on the evening of September 22, 2010. What we do know is that at 8.42 p.m., the 18-year-old college freshman sent this Facebook message from his cell phone. Jumping off the GW Bridge. Sorry. Tyler's life ended that night 200 feet below in the Hudson River. A death that sparked a chain reaction, generating a media and cultural firestorm. If you are someone who is being picked on or bullied or called names. It also transformed Tyler's roommate at Rutgers University, a slender frisbee throwing freshman named Darun Ravi, into a convicted felon facing 10 years in prison. Do you think people know who you are? I really don't. They thought like, I hated gay people and I wanted to intimidate them. And that stuff doesn't even make sense to me. How do you? Darun Ravi, excoriated for provoking Tyler's suicide by harassing the gay teenager online. He speaks out for the first time tonight. You're, not, you're never going to be able to go back in time and change what's happened. All you can do is learn from it. Born in southern India, Darun grew up in the suburban New Jersey town of Plainsboro. Darun was known as bright, inquisitive, thrilled to be heading to college. I was very excited and I wanted to meet new people. In contrast to the hypersocial Darun, Tyler Clementi was shy, reserved, a self-described loner. A skilled violinist who played in the Ridgewood, New Jersey Symphony, Tyler also happened to be gay something he told his parents right before he left for college. It was really a great kid to have around, have around the house. Very helpful, very kind, uh, generous with his time. Darun found out for himself that Tyler was gay during an online search about his prospective college roommate. That's when he discovered a post from Tyler on a gay website. What did it mean to you that he was gay? It didn't mean anything, it was, just, it was just an interesting fact. Like almost every fact that Darun thought was interesting, he decided to tweet it. Like most teens, Darun was hopelessly addicted to social media. You like to tweet. Yeah. But what does social media mean to you guys today? When you type it, does it mean you mean it more than no, if you say it? It's probably the opposite. What most people type is like wrapped with seven layers of sarcasm and you know, another layer of irony. But what Darun said online would play a huge role in the case, starting with his first instant message about his new roommate. F my life, he's gay. Why were you doing that? Was it because you hate gays? You're afraid of gays? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, these are my closest friends. They know me. They know I, don't, I have no problem with gay people. So and I have no problem with any kind of people. What you guys were doing was not necessarily uncommon, but do you see that it wasn't really nice either? Why that language? That's just, that was a normal way that kids talk to each other. We were, we're not really thinking about you know, what if someone else reads this, how are they going to feel? August 28, 2010. Ravi and Tyler head to the Rutgers campus in New Jersey for move-in day and meet for the first time in the Davidson C dorm room. He was very shy, very polite, very quiet. I would try to have conversations with him, but they fizzle out really quick. I mean, I, I tried very hard. Meanwhile, Tyler messaged a friend with his own off-color impressions of his new roommate. I got an Asian, and commenting that Ravi's parents definitely owned a Dunkin' Donuts. Almost immediately, the two freshmen set off on different paths. Tyler joins the school orchestra and mostly keeps to himself. I wasn't sure if he had any friends at all. I never saw him interacting with anyone in the dorm. Darun takes immediately to college social life, joining the ultimate Frisbee team and becoming known for his unique sense of humor. If he could poke jokes at you, he could push it too far. He felt he was strong enough to take those kind of jokes. Maybe he wouldn't understand that some other people weren't as strong as he to take those. But while Ravi may have been more outgoing, 
it would be the reclusive Tyler who would score the first date in college on September 19th, what would turn out to be a fateful event. And he says, hey, is it okay if I have a friend over? When did you meet the friend? The guy walks in, he's clearly older than us. I look at him and I say hi, and he immediately averts his eyes, looks on the ground, and his expression, he looked a little bit angry. I don't, I don't know why, kind of like a mean expression. Uneasy about Tyler's friend, Darun says he headed across the hall to the room of Molly Way, a classmate from his high school. I tell her, Molly, there's this really weird guy in my room. And she's like, oh, what does he look like? Um, I'm trying to describe him. And I'm like, you know what, I can just show you. Turns out that tech-savvy Darun had rigged the webcam on his computer to turn on by remote. And I turn it on. And then we looked at it and we can tell that they're kissing. And it registered to both of us what happened at the same time. And I, and I closed it and we were just like, oh my God. When you turned on the camera, did you think that you were going to interrupt a romance? No, because you have to keep in mind that this was less than a minute after I left the room. Did it seem that weird or is it just kissing basically with two people the same gender? No one, no one cared about that. You weren't looking to invade him, figure out what's going on, shame him. No, I had nothing to do with Tyler at all. Yet Ravi immediately tweeted all his friends. Roommate asked for the room till midnight. I went into Molly's room and turned on my webcam. I saw him making out with a dude. Yay. And why did you send it? I wanted to let my friends from back home know. In my head, that's just how Twitter, what Twitter was. We'd kind of still be involved in each other's lives and what's going on. But it is not just Darun's hometown friends who read the tweet. Tyler Clementi also sees it the next day. At first, Tyler seems to dismiss the incident, messaging a friend that it's not like he left the cam on or recorded or anything. Later, he posts messages on a gay website writing, I'm kind of pissed at him, but I don't know if I have enough to get him in trouble. He never saw anything pornographic. Despite all of the online angst, the two say nothing to each other in person. If they had, it may have changed everything. So I figured, you know, I, I would eventually tell him someday down the road, and it would be kind of something we would laugh at then. A day later on September 21st, Darun is sexiled from his room once again. Tyler has scheduled another date with his mysterious friend. My concerns were two things, that this would become too regular, and second, I did not trust the guy still that was there. Instead of addressing those concerns with Tyler, Ravi once again decides to tweet. Anyone with iChat, I dare you to video chat me between the hours of 9.30 p.m. till midnight. Yes, it's happening again. Ravi even sent a text saying, people are having a viewing party with a bottle of Bacardi and beer. Was there going to be a viewing party? No, that was just, that was me fooling around with my friends. Just Looking back, I was very self-absorbed with the whole thing. It was just about what I was thinking, what I was, how I was reacting to everything. I, I would never, it was never, what if Tyler finds out? How is he going to feel about it? In fact, Tyler had found out. He'd been checking Ravi's Twitter feed. Tyler even unplugs Ravi's computer before his date that night. He also files a complaint with his resident assistant and asks for a room change. He writes, I feel that my privacy has been violated and I am extremely uncomfortable sharing a room with someone who would act in this wildly inappropriate manner. When you saw Tyler the next day, did he react to you like he knew something was up? No, not at all. At the time, Ravi was unaware that Tyler knew all about the webcam spying. Yeah, he seemed completely normal to me. Did you think you had done something wrong? Well, yes, that the first night I shouldn't have looked ever. That's what I thought. So I figured I should explain that to Tyler. 